guys, how's it going? Today's audio contains a wealth of useful information. Listen to it all the way through and make sure you understand every word. The scene where they discuss money is one of my favorites. Oh yeah. You'll get the most out of it if you listen it through your earphones or headphones. Wishing you an awesome day. Enjoy and chill. Really enjoy this audio. When you get who you are, and when you get how who you really are feels, and when you start tuning yourself to that feeling, you will begin to be a vibrational match to who you really are. And do you know, when you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, when you are offering the vibration that comes from the core of your being, your power of influence is so huge that others who are watching you are amazed at the confidence and power with which you move through life when you are a vibrational match to who you are law of attraction brings to you surrounds you with lines up for you a steady stream of powerful joyful opportunities and openings that just lead you segment by segment toward an ever evolving always unfolding joyful life experience it's not about knowing what you don't want so you know what you do want and then you have to figure out how to get over there to what you do want we're not talking about the handful or dozen or hundreds or even the thousands of things that you are wanting and this workshop is not about getting you to those things this workshop is about helping you to reorient your understanding of why you are here in this body to begin with you did not come forth to get it done you did not come forth to identify things you want and then move over to live the manifestation of them because the manifestation of them is better than the absence of them you came forth in order to identify what you want so that you could move in the direction of what you want so that you can enjoy the stream of life that is constant and eternal you want to be in the flow of who you are not bucking the current law of attraction and its response to this powerful you that you have become creates a current that feels to you like a river or stream that is always moving in the direction of that which life has caused you to become and when you let yourself go with that flow you feel those emotions that you describe as positive emotions but when you're turned upstream in opposition to that current you feel it in your body you feel it in every fiber of your being you feel it because you are not letting yourself be who you are and that contradiction in energy tears you apart it makes you miserable it messes up your body it ruins your life to some degree it keeps you from being who you are now when you croak of course that all ends because when you croak we love that disrespectful word since there is no death we try to be as disrespectful of it as we can, of your idea of it as we can when you have what you call your death experience your croaking experience you stop beating the drum of all of the things that you've been worrying about in your physical form and the vibration of who you are becomes dominant and in one fell swoop you become the being that all that you have lived has caused you to become but we are wanting to submit to you that you do not have to croak to have that happen you can stay right here in this physical body and you can moment to moment day by day by caring about how you feel tune yourself to the vibration of the center of your being and as you tune yourself to who you really are then you will begin to understand how good life feels and how good life is supposed to feel for you it is supposed to feel good we want you to understand the power of this river and the fact that it's not Disneyland and we cannot turn this river off you set your river in motion long before you got forth into this physical body and this river has been moving very fast since you've been in this physical body and every time you know what you don't want you make the river go a little faster by offering the rocket of desire about what you're wanting the reason the river moves faster and faster and faster is because every time you identify at any level of your being a preference or a desire how life would be better for you the non-physical part of you embraces that thought so completely and holds it so unequivocally and becomes the vibrational offering of it so completely and then as the powerful law of attraction responds to that ever increasing amassing vibration that you are setting forth there is a powerful sucking feeling that is drawing you toward it are you getting a sense of this we're trying to get you to understand how fast this river is moving and how important it is that you let yourself go with it 
when you let yourself move in the direction of who you've become you feel the ease of going with that flow and when you turn in opposition to it you feel the dis-ease of not allowing yourself to go with the flow and every emotion you feel is about simply that whatever you're living whether it is about your body or whether it is about your relationship or whether it is about your money no matter what it is about whatever you're living is only a temporary in the moment indicator of your temporary in the moment vibrational offering that's all it is the only problem is you don't know that your vibrational offering is temporary because you've been speaking those words for so long they're stuck in your vibrational craw you've been telling the same story for so long you don't know any new stories somehow you got convinced that you should tell it like it is now let's play that over what we were just saying tell it like it is your mother says tell me the truth of what is so you say I don't have enough money I don't have enough money I don't have enough money I hate you I hate you I hate you I hate you I don't like what you're doing I don't like what you're doing with my money I don't like you what you're doing with my government I don't like what you're doing we're making a point here and we know it's getting annoying to you but we <laughs> want you to understand that you got to tell a different story did we make a point with you about these two points of vibrational offerings that are going on there's the larger you and then there's the physical you do you get that do you believe it do you understand that you are this source energy being so listen to the difference in the drums that are being beat I don't have enough money 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 I've never had enough money there's plenty of money the money is here the things are lined up the resources are in place circumstances of event have been arranged the money is here the money is here look over 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 here now we want to depict the emotional difference I don't have enough money I don't have enough money why don't I have enough money I'm so sorry that I don't have enough money what have I done wrong I should have known better they should have known better there's plenty of money nothing has gone wrong everything that you want is lined up for you whenever you're ready it's right here for you there's nothing you need to do you've done all the work all you need to do is relax and allow what you want to flow into your experience you want to begin to listen to the drum of the source within you you want to listen to the call of source source is calling you in the direction of what you want and the way you know that you're moving in the direction is because things start lighting up for you meaning that they begin feeling really really good to you when you get on this track of following the trail that has been prepaved by you and is being tended by the source within you and is calling you toward what you're wanting you feel energized you feel enthusiasm and yet you know what your physical world trains you to do your physical world says if it feels good you need to be wary you say to your friends oh I'm so excited about this and they say watch out watch out that positive emotion could mean something's going very very wrong for you I've known other people who were positive and bad things happened to them I think you better play it safe I think you better stay right where you are I know he beats you but he's he makes a good living and what we're wanting you to understand is the way you feel is everything because the way you feel is your indication of whether you're closing the gap between who you're letting yourself be and who you really are or whether you're widening the gap and you're going to get so that you can feel statement by statement whether it's downstream or upstream downstream or upstream the downstream statement always feels like relief it doesn't always feel like sunshine lollipop and roses it doesn't always feel like best feeling thing that you've ever felt but the downstream thought from where you stand always feels better than the upstream thought you can always tell the difference between something that feels a little worse and a little better a little worse and a little better so often a gathering like this leaves you with the impression that you need to get over here into these good feeling emotions and you have been so sick to your stomach of positive people for so long the idea of being one of them is abhorrent to most of you in other words nothing is more annoying than to see someone happy when you're not <laughs> nothing is more annoying than to see someone living the life you want to live when you're not living it and even worse crowing about it <laughs> oh let me tell you how good my life is let's not go there you say <laughs> what we want you to realize is we don't want you to compare yourself with anybody else we just want you to have an awareness a comparative awareness of whether this thought that you're thinking right now is upstream or downstream and you know why because this thought that you're thinking right now is your point of attraction this is the thought that you're thinking right now that your life is becoming the indicator of 
But there's this one little thing that we need to tell you. You probably already know it. There's a buffer of time between you offering a vibration and it manifesting. More than 99% of every creation is completed by you vibrationally before the evidence begins to show. So you can be turned in the downstream direction for a while before you begin to see the evidence of it. And that's what makes you not know. You want instant manifestation. Can you imagine Jerry and Esther on the river with their guide? Telling him, oh, we like instant manifestation, so we don't want to take all the time to ride down the river. Put our boat back on the bus. Let's drive down the canyon, be a lot faster. Put it in a few hundred yards from where we're going to take it out. We'll just be done with this. <laughs> and he would say, I thought you wanted a ride on the river. And that's what we want you to understand. You want this ride on the river. You want to discern contrast. Oh, you think that if you had the choice, and you did, but you think that if you'd had the choice from this physical experience, and good thing you didn't, you'd think that if you had the choice, and you did, that if you came forth into this physical experience, that your nest would be so feathered that it would be full of all of the things you want, and there would be nothing in your environment that would even get your attention a little bit that would make you feel bad. Many of you as parents try to do that for your children. And you deprive them temporarily of the contrast that they came to live. You said, I'll go forth into the contrast and from it, I will be able to discern what I prefer. And that will be a wonderful thing because when I know what I prefer, I'll hold it in my vibrational countenance. And then the law of attraction will bring it to me. And then I'll have a new platform from which to prefer. And I'll hold it in my vibrational countenance and law of attraction will bring it to me. So from this buffet of life, I will extract from it the things that I most prefer. And out of it, I will carve out the perfect life for me from my personal perspective. But instead you got here. And there were so many other dysfunctional people around you who had already lost sight of their own guidance system who said to you, most of you, I am a very conditional lover and liver of life, which means good conditions make me feel good, but bad conditions make me feel bad. So these are the rules for the good conditions that I need to extract from you. And since you're in my life, I'll be looking at you quite a lot. Since I am your employer, or since I am your mother, or since I am your father, or since I am your teacher, I have been assigned the task of looking at you. And when I look at you, I want to feel good which means you need to perform in ways that make me, 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 me feel good. I don't want you to be selfish. <laughs> you need to behave in ways that make me, I'm your selfless mother, feel good. And if I see any of those things that make me feel bad, you will be in such trouble. <laughs> Which was all right if there could only have been one of them and they were always in agreement with themselves, but they are so fickle and there are so many of them and they want different things from you and you just can't stand on your head in enough different ways to make them happy. And pretty soon you figure out that no matter how hard you try, you can't make them happy. And we are wanting to say to you that none of you came forth with the intention of listening to anyone outside of you. Every one of you knew that life would cause you to expand and that that expanded being would call you and when you go in the direction of that expansion that you would feel good and you planned on leaving everybody else out of the equation you really did you did not plan on guiding your life by that which other people are saying first of all they don't have very much of an attention span have you noticed how long did your lover really give you his undivided attention <laughs> no one dare say <laughs> not that long not that long. How long did your mother give you her undivided attention? Not very long. Nobody can do it because nobody is born to be the keeper of you. They are all born to be the creator of their own experience. And we think that the greatest hypocrisy, the thing that has caused you the most trouble is that they tell you that you are important to them. But the bottom line is how they feel is what's most important to them. So they keep trying to guide you and your behavior by what makes them feel good. And then, oh, you get so full of resentment because you know what would make your life really wonderful right away is if you could just accept that everybody is in this life for themselves. 
And that's not a bad thing because what that's really saying is everybody is source energy and everybody came forth in order to give birth to new rockets of desire. And everyone has a source within them that is guiding them toward their best interest. So imagine what a wonderful world that is. If everyone has their own personal guidance system and it is source and everyone is being called toward the improved life experience and everyone or even most of them or even some of them are hearing the call and moving toward it. Can you imagine how magnificent this world would become?